Hello and welcome to a video on two Minecraft sets I decided to pick up. These are part of the 2019 winter or 2020 spring uh, release of sets and these are two sets that I just looked at them and thought these are really cool. I haven't bought Minecraft Lego sets in a while and these ones just they just instantly grabbed me for a few reasons. First of all, it's very green, very blue. I love the colors here on like nature and stuff. Nature theme does fit with the Minecraft sets I did keep. I actually gave away a lot of Minecraft sets. The only one big one I kept was the first one of the uh, the giant sort of war where the mine cart where the mine cart is and a few of the other jungle ones that I really really like. So these will fit nicely with the sets I still have. And second of all, pandas. Ocelots, great, more animals, love it. Just a quick look at the top here, show you what figures or characters you get inside this set, a few sort of play features on the back here, and this is the uh, pretty much the battle pack or the Minecraft equivalent of a battle pack. The instruction booklet for here is very tiny. I think this is a new shape. I'm glad it's not like folded in, because usually when you get boxed like this, you still have something like that that's just folded inside there. So I'm glad this is flat, that's, that's fine. I tend to not keep the Lego boxes anymore, just the instruction manual so I don't need to flatten it myself and um, but the parts list on the back and etc etc and the bigger book is uh, even though it fits in there quite nicely it's folded up <laughs> so that that's annoying but again on the back you have a parts list a list of all the other uh, recently released stuff from actually all of these are from the previous wave but um, a few of them do interest me this bit more zombies I don't need the more zombies but this cave thing is quite nice I would have bought this if I don't already have that big one I have what uh, you know from before. Some of the other stuff that I am sort of interested in is... No, I'm not interested in any of the other sets from this year. Uh, I do want to get the village from like last year or something, but it's too big, I don't space, and no cash for it. Here's a look at some of the spare pieces we get in these two sets. Because there's an extra plant here, some plant studs, brown plates, and there you go. Actually, yeah, one of these mushrooms are also made out of extra pieces. So you actually only get one mushroom in the instructions, but you know, extra pieces here. So this whole build, you got the TNT there. So of course, there's some sort of uh, TNT function in here. So you just push that down. This falls out. Let's do that again. Let's take that plant back in. And that pops out. So, you know, you have a minifigure standing on there or something and it'll go wee fly over the place. We have this, we have this flame piece here, which is quite nice. It's uh, sort of jewel molded with white and orange transparent. It's probably just glued down or something, but whatever. That's, that's for when the sun hits and the mobs start to spontaneously combust. I like how these guys just have their arms like this. I know you could have done that for a while, but I still like it. So it actually looks like he's pulling the arrow from the bow and he's also being set on fire by the sunlight. So he can stay there and burn. Uh, aside from that, I mean, it's it's okay. Uh, it's for Minecraft set. If you already have Minecraft set, this is a nice build. Adds to the land, extends it a little bit. The grass color is a slightly different shade. So it's a different biome from some of the older sets. That's nice. You've got some of these extra studs here for, you know, placing the TNT in different places, different spaces, and they can come off quite easily. These plants also come up quite easily and that's a bit on the frustrating side. But what else do you get in here? Well, you have Steve with golden pants and a golden sword. So if you're looking for, you know, specific colors, this is uh, this might be a good way to get some gold pants. Very clean, unprinted gold pants as well. So, but the rest of Steve is just the same thing we've seen. The sword is also the same thing we've seen loads of times. So let me see, uh, I'll put Steve there next to the TNT, where it's absolutely safe. So, because <laughs> you also put this fire on top of the TNT, so that it's you know, going to blow up in a moment. I also have this fox. This is really cool. The tail is quite nice. I like the head, because it's just an ocelot head, but different print, different colors. Nice, nice little build. I like it a lot. I'll put him on top there. And we also have a uh, wolf. Uh, we've seen these before. I think this is a smaller one, so maybe it's a puppy wolf. Um, the other ones I've seen, I remember them being a bit bigger. By the way, still nice to have a wolf character. So for such a small set, it's really great for having, uh, you know, four uh, unique figures. Because they're not just build figures. It isn't just like a minifigure and some random characters that you sort of build, like some of the other battle packs. No, these still have very unique molded pieces to them. Next up with our bigger sort of panda set. This is cool. I like this a lot. This one's got the more traditional green coloring here. Got some plates, ladder. There's a bed up here. 
and you know in the instructions says put a fish down here so i guess that's for tempting the ocelot to come in and you know you will tame it and it becomes your kitty cat so uh, i'm gonna put him close to the fish not in there he's not quite found the fish yet so we can go in there uh we have alex here just a standard minifigure i'm just gonna put her here and she comes with a uh, diamond pickaxe we've seen these before we'll put that next to her bed as well as a uh, cake so um uh, this is printed piece. None of these have used stickers or anything, so that's nice. I'm gonna just uh, stick that up there. So there are not really any actual sort of play features here. This just sort of sets the scene. I'm, I'm fine with that. It's not a particularly big set. Uh, Tons of details that I do like. Use a little bit of transparent blue there, and a few extra transparent blue plates just in, in the blue area to make it look like water without you know, going crazy with it. Obviously, if this is all filled with transparent blue, it would look much better, but for you know an actual Lego set, it, that doesn't seem to like giving us too many transparent pieces. This is fine. Just a little bit there, like the water's moving. You know, these are like the little waves. The bamboo shoots are nice. These are nicely built. Um, I do like them for the different lengths. They're growing different lengths. So, you know, that's nice. It's, it's, um, I would prefer it if they gave us three of the same height, but in terms of something that you, I'm not playing with, just gonna put it on as a display piece. The different heights are fine. We get two pandas here. The head is on a single hinge, so can't really do too much with him. You can make him walk. He's really, really chunky. And just a bit of a side effect to how it's built, you get a little bit of gray there, which kind of looks like a tail shadow, so that that's nice. He's holding a little bit of bamboo. Then we have this smaller panda, but that uses the same size head, so it looks like his head's a bit too big for the body, but that kind of makes it extra cute. And it is on a smaller body, it's also just on a hinge. There's, a, I think that's ever so slightly left and right rotate, just because of how it's built. Otherwise, it's just a nice, cute little panda thing, so you can sit there, like you'd have to fish. <laughs> so these two sets, uh, I like them a lot as a uh, minifigure army builder thingy. This is great. I mean, obviously, we already have loads. If you, if you bought more than one set of Lego Minecraft, you probably already have a bunch of Steves lying around. Here's just another extra Steve. Getting a bit bored of him, but whatever. As an army builder pack, this is still pretty good get a uh, bunch of these extra mobs this is really great i recommend maybe pick up like one or two of these to add to your bigger minecraft sets to really fill them up because uh, you see the landscape here this is really packed with these minecraft figures so uh, these figures can easily spread into bigger sets and fill up those empty spaces so this is a great army building pack this panda one honestly i bought it for the pandas and because the coloring i do like the coloring the cat is a nice bonus for me. The build is nothing too special. Again, if you already have bigger sets, this bamboo area can very nicely slot into the bigger builds. That's all this tiny tower of the bed in there. Not too special. Tiny outpost. It looks fine, but I don't know, it doesn't really do much for me. It's mostly this half that really does it for me. And of course, there's no actual no play features with this, but um, I think that, again, that's fine because you get some nice pandas here. So overall, I'm quite pleased with these two sets. If you like Lego and like Minecraft, these are pretty good sets to pick up. I'm not interested in any of the other sets that has just come out in this way. If you like them, great. Just They just don't do it for me. And these are the only two that do, and I'm very happy I picked them up. No regrets at all. Subscribe to Justin Coyne below. Take care and have a nice day. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye now.